as in the previous video we have noticed some concepts about the pointers along with the basic implementation in the previous video itself we also saw like pointers can be used for the dynamic memory allocation we haven't covered the implementation yet about that but if i want to allocate any memory at the runtime why will we do that because obviously we would be requiring to store some value during the execution so if i am going to allocate a particular memory during the runtime the pointer will be used to store the address of that particular location and through that pointer itself you can store any value in that memory location but if there is any issue during the execution time and your memory is not yet allocated at that particular time your pointer can be a null pointer a null pointer means which is not pointing to any location or you can say which is not having any particular value so at that particular point we should not store any value into that particular location why because pointer is having a null inside and we will not be able to store any value that will cause us a runtime exception which can terminate our execution as well so before getting started in that particular sense what we will do it is a good practice to initialize our value of a pointer with null if you are not storing any value from the very beginning so we will store a null into it and later we will try to assign some address which we are allocating during the runtime if it is not yet allocated the pointer will keep storing null inside it and at that particular time we will not store anything in that location just to maintain the execution of our program and to get rid of the abnormal termination so here you can see like if ptr if ptr means if pointer is having any value if not ptr means if pointer is having a null let's see a simple code here like here you can see ptr is equal to null so if you will print the value here you can observe like it will be containing a zero numerical zero will be printed but basically it will not be zero it will be a null so if ptr means if it is a non zero value then pointer is not a null pointer but if the memory is allocated at the runtime if the address is successfully assigned to this pointer in that particular case this will be a null pointer and we will check before writing any code further we will check if not pointer then we will not execute the code so in this particular scenario what will happen it is a pointer it's a null so it's a null pointer and uh, here this particular statement will be printed we will see how to allocate the memory dynamically in our coming videos but let's see a very basic implementation of this null pointer for now so in this simple implementation of null pointer as you can see for being in a safe side i have initialized the pointer with a null if i am not assigning the address of any particular variable from the very beginning so it is better as i said to st store a null value inside it so that we cannot use that if there is nothing so if i'll execute if pointer means if there is any address is stored inside that then this condition will be true otherwise this so let's execute that and here you can see the point the value of ptr is zero which is nothing but null since it is zero the pointer is a null pointer means this particular condition got satisfied the second one but as soon as you will store the address of any particular variable let's say ptr is equal to ampersand i then if i'll execute it again pointer is not a null pointer so whenever you want to write a code for a particular pointer where you are accessing or where you are using the address just make sure you are using this condition so that if there is no address we should not access that particular location